lesson is on shingles or herpes zoster. In this lesson, we're going to talk about what shingles is, why it happens, some of the risk factors, and we're also going to talk about how we can diagnose and treat it. So as we all know, it's a very painful, self-limited vesicular rash with acute neuritis. I'm going to talk about what all those terms mean more specifically in the next couple of slides. So shingles or herpes zoster is due to reactivation of the varicella zoster virus from dorsal root ganglion nerves. The virus lies dormant in dorsal root ganglion after an initial infection with varicella zoster virus which causes chickenpox. So in order for an individual to actually get shingles, they would have had to have had an infection with chickenpox virus sometime in their life prior. So that's very important. So what happens is the virus